All right, one of the most asked questions that we have is how to mount a cafe seat. So I'm going to set up a little video here and show you it's really, really simple. It's not brain surgery to do this. And I have a, a frame, a section of frame here. If you want to take a look right here, all we're using is a couple of steel plates. Here's one right here that I've made in my shop. It's all drilled. It's drilled and chapped for quarter 20 um, countersunk bolts. Now, your motorcycle has a lot of flat sections on the frame that will allow you to, to mount two flat straps across as you see here. Now we have some small spacers so that we can level the height of the seat out and change the height if necessary. We have them drilled and tapped for quarter 20. Here's another diagram of, of another way to do it. Your spacer length can be whatever you need to be depending on your motorcycle. Doesn't have to be anything. You've got these parts in your garage. You can use them. Here's a, some different length um, spacers that can be gotten at any hardware. They're very cheap. They're like 20 cents a piece. Very, very cheap. What would you call those spacers if you went to the hardware store? Um, nylon bushing is what you would call them. It, it, most any hardware would have them or auto parts. Now here's a little trick I'm going to show you now because I'm standing here. What this is that I'm holding in my hand is a quarter 20 bolt. It has had the head cut off and as you can see it's sharpened to a point. Now when you get your seat mounts made, you can remove your screws. Screw these in. Now once you've got that, take your seat. Now there's no tank here, but you're gonna be adjusting this to your tank. You get it lined up, set it in place with the seat pad off, tap on the top, and it'll center punch on the bottom. Pretty much scribes a hole. Where to, where to drill your holes. Well, that's just do brilliant. the front two holes, then do the rear two holes once you've got the front done, and you'll have perfect alignment on your seat. Now I'm going to show you a couple of seats over here that are mounted. Yours may be a little different than mine. Now I'm going to remove my seat pad. Oh, this is a, a Cafe 360 Honda that I built. And this is going to give you an idea. We've removed the pad. Now if you'll look, you'll see the screws. Now yes, these are in a different position because the mount needed to be a little different on this motorcycle. But I'm going to remove these screws for you. It's a very fast and easy way to fasten the seats and remove them without having hinges or some hundred dollar mount that somebody's trying to sell you out of a piece of plastic that you have to spend hours and hours trying to figure out. All right, there's the seat off. Now here you can see the bracket again. There's the bracket. It's just fastened, this one is fastened to two original brackets on the bike. Here's an angle iron piece that I've made that uses the two screws in the back and it's just fastened to the original frame. You can slide it back and forth. Don't make it complicated. It doesn't have to be. I'll leave this one to a side here. Of course, well, we'll put it back on so you can see it all assembled again. So see how simple this is. No problem. People will say to me, well, that's only four quarter inch screws. Take a look at your existing seat and see what's holding it on now. It's got two pins that are quarter inch, if you're lucky. Seats up back on now, only four screws, pad goes right back on. In my case, this one's a snap-on type. Now, all your mounting screws are gone. I'm going to move you over here to another bike. This is a uh, one of our flat track seats. A lot of people want to know how to mount that seat pad to the seat. 
Now this is what I use, doesn't make it right, doesn't make it wrong. It's Velcro. As you can see it takes a lot of pressure to get it off. There's three strips of Velcro, self-sticking on the bottom of the seat pad and on the seat. Hurts nothing, it's right there, you want to put it back in place, back in place it goes. Once you sit on it, you'll work to get it off. I'm going to set that aside, here we are, the four screws again. We're going to go underneath this, this is a late model Hinkley Triumph. Um, of course, I didn't want to weld anything to this motorcycle, so it's all done with bolts. If you have a... Uh, a MIG welder, you can MIG the mounts on there if you like, or weld them on. Here we are again. Turn it around and you can see the different, this is mounted to the tank mount. Here were two fender mounts and we just built a set of mounts and we're drilled and tapped again and on we go. Nothing complicated. The biggest thing when you're mounting a seat to look at is to get a nice straight line across the bottom between the tank and the seat. You can have the seat up or lower, but a nice straight line. Step back and take a look yourself while you're doing it to get the nice straight line. We can look at this motorcycle here again. Here's a nice straight line. Gives you a nice clean look. I think these 360s make excellent cafe bikes. And he has the rear sets, and he has all this stuff in stock to actually do this complete bike with the handlebars and everything. That's one of my favorites. It's a basic, basic cafe racer, but it just always turns heads everywhere it goes. And I guess if hopefully that answered all your questions on mounting our seats or anyone's seat on your project, whether you built it or you purchased it from me. Of course, we would like it if you buy from us. Again, if you look at the straight line, you'll see the straight line across the bottom of the seat and across the tank, making for a nice clean fit. It, if you get it up, it looks bad. You get it down, now, it looks this bad. This is your street tracker seat here? This is our dark wing seat. Dark fits, wing seat. fits the gold wings. The G, this is a GL1100. This is a GL1100. We do the same seat for GL1000, a similar seat. I really think it looks like it came from the factory that way on this particular motorcycle. He's got this bike all set up. Weber carburetors, this thing's just a beauty. And here's one of his street tracker Holly Davidsons here. Anyway, we hope that answered a lot of your questions. Feel free to email with any more. And thanks for watching our video.